I'm Stephen Kennedy. I'm a fifth year graduate student in the laboratory of Dr. Stephen Porcelli, and I'm working on developing a new tuberculosis vaccine. And you might be asking yourself, why do we need a new tuberculosis vaccine? And why does uh, tuberculosis matter to us in the United States? As we saw with Ebola in the last year, uh, there's this pattern to infectious diseases. They start in the third world developing countries and they move back to the United States where they can cause epidemics and pandemics. If a large scale tuberculosis outbreak occurred in the United States, which is becoming increasingly possible, it would be catastrophic because none of the currently available drugs or vaccines in our arsenal would be able to defeat it. The only one that has those really distinct spots by eye is uh, G4. The good news is that we still have a chance to stop tuberculosis in its tracks. Tuberculosis is a bacterium that has plagued us for ages and has even been found in the remains of mummies from ancient Egypt. Because of this long history, tuberculosis has been co-evolving with humans. As a result, we're in this everlasting arms race where tuberculosis develops new technologies to evade our immune system, and in turn, our immune system develops technologies to fight back. TB had the upper hand in this arms race in the Middle Ages and much of the 20th century. But then in the 1950s, antibiotics were developed that were effective at combating tuberculosis. These antibiotics led us to what we thought was a decisive victory against tuberculosis. However, tuberculosis has proven to be a more insidious pathogen than we could have ever imagined. You see, during the 50 years we thought TB was a disease of the past in the US, tuberculosis has been able to thrive and even evolve in developing nations such as Africa, India, and South America. In these regions, many people are infected with both TB and HIV. This co-infection, coupled with the high cost of antibiotics, has led to the emergence of multi- and totally drug-resistant tuberculosis also called MDR and XDR-TB. Drug-resistant tuberculosis is poised to make this jump from the third world developing nations back to the United States. Because there are no drugs to treat it, if someone became infected with drug-resistant TB, it would be paramount to a death sentence. Currently, only one vaccine is approved for the use against tuberculosis. This vaccine, called BCG, was developed almost 100 years ago and is only effective in children aged 1 through 12 and has shown limited to no efficacy in adults. That's why our lab's goal is to create a vaccine that's effective in both children and adults and will lead to the eradication of tuberculosis. And because I know you're all not immunology nerds like I am, I brought along my friend Mike Becker to help me show you some simple animations about the immune system and how vaccines can help jumpstart the immune system. The first cell we'll meet is the macrophage. Macrophages are the front line of our immunological army, surveilling for foreign invaders at all times. When a macrophage encounters a pathogen, it immediately engulfs and destroys it. Then the macrophage travels to the lymph node, which is like a home base for your immunological army. Upon arrival, the macrophage reports to your T cells, which are kind of like the generals of your immune cell army. And it shows these T cells pieces of the destroyed pathogen, which we call antigens. The T cell recognizes these antigens as pieces of a foreign invader and begins to execute a battle plan for clearing the infection. Like any good general, the T cell takes time to formulate its plan of attack. The two or three week period that it takes to prepare might be okay for, say, a common cold. But if you're infected with a stronger adversary, like TB, in the three weeks it takes for the immune system to respond, Tuberculosis has already gotten too strong for your body and becomes impossible for your immune system to destroy it. That's where vaccines can help. To defeat pathogens like tuberculosis that can take advantage of our relatively slow defense system, we use vaccination to help our body respond quicker and more forcefully. You can think of a vaccine like a training drill. We inject a person with antigens that mimic pieces of a foreign invader but will not make that person sick. The macrophages do their duty and report the pieces to the T cells and the immune army is called into action. This false alarm leads to what we call immunological memory. The T cell dedicates a piece of the immunological army called memory cells to jumpstart the immune response if they ever see the invader again. Memory cells have a one-track mind. They constantly think about the single antigen they are trained to respond to. Instead of the usual two to three weeks to destroy a pathogen, memory cells allow us to respond almost instantaneously to an infection. 
In our laboratory, we are isolating these memory cells from tuberculosis-infected mice and asking them what antigens they saw during an infection. If we can identify the antigens seen by the memory cells, we can create a false alarm response and produce an effective vaccine. We've shown these memory cells thousands of antigens from TB. And we're excited that we've identified several promising candidates for immunization. So we'll know that the entire frame gets expressed. That's a great idea, actually. So we can feed this to mice and see where it goes. Our next step is to test these antigens for their ability to protect against tuberculosis. Our goal is to create a new vaccine that will allow your immune army to completely wipe out TB from the body. So what motivates me probably most in my job is the ability to solve complex, complex puzzles that will hopefully one day help humanity in a tangible way. So growing up, I always liked to do puzzles and to solve complex problems. I liked math always. I've always liked science. Um, but I didn't really know how to apply that to my, my future life. And now that I'm a PhD student, it's, it really gives you the ability to fulfill your need to solve complex puzzling uh, problems and also help humanity in a, in a tangible way.